My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I'm very delighted to show you guys a 1969 Camaro. This thing's been rotisserie restored, a nut and bolt restored, it's amazing. Under the hood is an actual ZL1 aluminum 427 engine from General Motors. Uh, it's got a new five-speed Tremec, four-wheel disc brakes, vintage air conditioning, all custom interior. This thing is high-end, it's premium, it's amazing. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, top to bottom. And that's where you find price tags on about 200 collector cars that are all for sale right now at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car is pretty special. <clears throat> pretty easy to do a video when a car is this amazing. Uh, you know, the enthusiasm is uh, easy to catch. Anyway, the car was on a rotisserie, so it's exactly like it sounds. It was stripped to a bare shell. The whole car was sandblasted to bare. It's original sheet metal on the car. It was flipped on its side, so the whole bottom of the car could be prepped as good as the top. The floorboards in this car, all clean metal, and it's all painted this same a uh, prowler orange color on the bottom. Uh, the subframe suspension parts were powder coated. Up front, it's got tubular control arms, uh, coil over adjustable, no, they're not coil over adjustable shocks, they're gas shocks, but tubular control arms and everything up front there is new and detailed and shiny and clean. Uh, the whole rear suspension's new, the shocks, the springs, the bushings. It does have SSBC uh, brake system, nice red calipers, drilled and slotted rotors, the e-brakes hooked up, uh, that's new, the, the hoses, the fuel lines, brake lines, all of that's new. The fuel system, the tank, the strap, the sending unit, that's all new. Uh, the exhaust is new, it's the factory style exhaust with the transverse sideways muffler, uh, installed very neatly. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's just spotless. Uh, it is a new uh, five-speed Tremec transmission. It was bought from uh, Hearst. It came with the Elite package with the polyurethane bushing and the powder-coated mount and uh, the wiring for reverse light. So it came as a whole package from Hearst Performance. Uh, so it's a new uh, clutch, new, new uh, five-speed transmission. Uh, it's a new drive shaft. Going back to a new rear end. It's a Curry a nine inch rear end. Has a Speedmaster center section, an aluminum. Uh, it's heavy duty, has a 35 splines. Uh, it's a 370 Posi uh, gears that's in there. Uh, they did put a little mini tub. Uh, the wheel wells are three inches bigger to accommodate the big wide tires. Uh, so underneath the car, it, it's new. Front to back, it's new. Uh, the gentleman that restored the car, he did this eight years ago. He's put on about 2,000 miles since then. Took excellent care of it. It looks like it was done yesterday, but does have some miles. It, it's a car that can be driven. I talked to him on the phone yesterday for a while, and uh, you know he just assured me, get in, drive the car, uh, no issues. He has a nice stance, too, I'm noticing right now. Uh, so it's always been a Georgia car. Uh, he said it was a rust-free uh, original sheet metal car. Uh, they said it was stripped down and put on a rotisserie. This is painted prowler orange. Has a nice uh, deep finish. The clear coat's smooth and glossy. The metal flake is laid out real nicely. I did notice there is a flaw right here. It looks like the, the clear uh, is chipped off or something right there. Nice 427 emblem. There are ghost stripes. I don't know if you can even see them, but the SS stripes are painted on, uh, on the hood in the trunk. Um, the grill, it's a billet grill. It's real sharp looking. Uh, the optional rubber Endura bumper. Uh, it is a rally sport package. The headlights open and close as a Detroit Speed uh, electric uh, motor conversion. 
LED lights down below, it has a spoiler, nice new marker lights, uh, some nice modern Camaro emblems, uh, cowl hood, it's metal, uh, new glass, sport mirrors. This is really cool. They removed the door handles and uh, you reach in here and you hit it with a button. That's what opens the doors. Got the chrome louvers here are new. Uh, Foos Legend wheels, uh, BF Goodrich Performance tires. You know, the stainless trim is new and shiny. The glass is crystal clear. Looking in through the window has a nice custom speaker tray here. Has ZL1 embossed into it. Nice custom uh, speaker covers. Uh, LED tail lights. You got the reverse lights down below. That's part of the Rally Sport. You do have the stripes here. Spoiler. Uh, and it has ZL1 kind of ghosted into here. And if you can see that, but ZL1, very faint in the door. Uh, very cool looking. Not obnoxious or gaudy. I think he did an incredible job with that. So why don't we take you inside the car and uh, check out what's under the hood too. I love the trunk compartment. Uh, also a nice SS emblem here. They did an amazing job. This was a, a professional upholstery shop, did the interior obviously, but it's all boxed and upholstered real nicely. And it has this nice premium square loop carpet uh, with bound edges. Uh, just one of the nicer trunks I've seen in a car. And then of course the uh, trunk jam and the uh, weather strip is new and the latch is new and uh, everything's real slick. Also, forgot to point out, there is a brake light uh, right in the spoiler here. Now we're going to take you to inside the car and on our way there I wanted to point out there's like three little bubbles right here that I didn't mention earlier. It's the only other flaw that I could find in the car. Look at them wheels sparkle. They're not pitted or corroded at all. And then check this out. Just like a newer Corvette. And the jams are slick as can be and the latches and the sill plates. Uh, uh, everything's done real nice. There's a nice billet uh, vent cover there as well. Now, inside this car, isn't it beautiful? I mean, this is first class. Uh, it also comes with a folder full of information, but everything fits so tight. It's like a Rolls Royce in here. Nothing's loose, nothing's coming unglued. Uh, real premium materials. You got sport seats. Uh, ZL1 is embroidered right onto the headrest. No wrinkles in the headliner. Nice custom made center console with the cup holders, some nice power window switches, a Hurst five speed sticking out of it. All new dash pad, vents, heater controls, uh, their VHX uh, digital analog gauges, uh, nice custom steering wheel. Let's see, is that a tilt column? Yeah, that's a tilt. And uh, retro stereo, nice billet pedals, the same uh, square loop carpet with matching mats, all bound edges. That's premium carpet they used to put in vintage Porsches. And then if you can catch it maybe over here, the, check out the door, door panel with the pattern, and it goes right into the kick panels, all matching. It's a very nice detailed work. Now, did we save the best for last? It's hard to tell because there's so many good things about this car, but what's under the hood is really special. And here's something that's very cool. There's a button down underneath the license plate here and watch the hood opens electronically. Also, if you want to see the headlights, I turned them on, they opened electrically. It looks like some special headlamps in there too. So this is a 427 aluminum block bought from General Motors. The tag is on the side of the block with the part number. Uh, and it has uh, vintage uh, GM aluminum heads and intake that would be correct for an actual ZL1 back in 69. Motor's been completely rebuilt, board 30 over, 
uh, Dino Tuned, Lunati Cam, Roller Rockers. Uh, it's dynoed at 475 horsepower, and uh, the torque, I think, was just about the same. Has a Holley Street Avenger carburetor with electric choke, uh, premium fuel lines and fittings. Uh, has a flamethrower electronic ignition system. Uh, plug wires are all run neatly. Looks like they're Headman headers, they're coated. Firewalls made smooth, really nice billet hinges, billet support bars. Now the front of the motor, this looks like a one wire alternator, aluminum water pump, you got power steering. Uh, the vintage air is hidden, I opened the hood and I thought, oh, I thought this car had air, but the compressor's down there, all the lines are run behind the fender. Got a nice B cool radiator with electric fan. Nice uh, filler panel up here, SS. Of course, the engine bay is painted as slick as the car, and it has a Detroit Speed uh, Select uh, Speed uh, upgraded wiper motor, new power brake system, stainless lines, new steering box. So every nut, bolt, everything in this car is done real, real nice, first class. All right, there you, there you have it. This is just a first class, outstanding Camaro. You can go have something like this built. It's gonna cost you at least what we're asking for the car and you're gonna wait two years to get it. This is done, dialed in, ready to go right now. That's my impression of this Camaro. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have specific questions or concerns, please ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this delivered to any driveway in the country. Uh, they can help you get it financed as well. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, which I hope you do, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.